Well, how's it going there, everyone? My name is Jesus Quesadilla, and welcome to the second episode of Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. Uh, now, in the first episode, we got a little introduction to the game as we made our character and set him up, and we uh, also stole some stuff from Doc Mitchell's house. If you missed that first episode, please go back and watch that so you'll be up to date on everything thus far. But uh, we're going to be starting out our game here in the little town of Good Spring, so that's where we left Doc Mitchell's place. And, um... I think I'll just go ahead and give a quick tour of the town before we really get into the thick of things, into the story. You can see we have a general store over yonder, and we have a saloon over here. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to this guy sitting over here. I kind of like his look. He's got a beard just like mine. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Well, howdy, Easy Pete. Uh, know anything about the people who attacked me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. You know, I really don't Can't care if he has cold eyes, because I am one cold-ass honky, and I'll match him blow for blow. So, uh, why'd they call you East Pete? prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Wow, that was a really boring explanation. I am done talking to you. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Oh, we will definitely be going there at some point, by the way. Yeah, anyway, that's Easy Pete. Doesn't really do much, just keeps to himself, and he's good with explosives. That's all you need to know about the man. Anyway, go ahead, come in here to the saloon. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Well, how about you? Do you bite? Ow. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Okay, so this is Sunny, and she's going to be sort of our tutorial guide uh, through uh, a couple of things in the game. She's going to give us our first gun. Well, we already have a gun because we took one from uh, Doc Mitchell's place, but otherwise this is the first gun you would normally get in the game. And uh, she's going to teach us how to use it to shoot some tin cans up in here. You know, bust a cap in someone's ass. But uh, anyway, we're gonna follow her up here and oh, hey there, puppy. How are you? Yeah, okay. Don't talk to me, dog. I just want to be with your master. Now, do not interfere with me. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Oh please, I'm a sharpshooter. My whole character class is based around being good with guns. So, and I miss. Lovely. And I just took out two with one hit, so I just made up for it. It'll help your aim. Okay, Can't crouch. Shoot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. No, not I really. Know. I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Why am I guessing that these aren't any ordinary geckos? But, okay, I'm in. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Alright, so we're gonna follow Sunny down to where we have uh, this gecko problem, I guess. And, uh... Ooh... Would you look at that ass run? Anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and fast forward. I will meet you guys when we are down where the geckos are. So I'll see you back in just a second. Doo -doo -doo. I'm on patrol. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Again, why do I feel like closer. these aren't going to be any ordinary we geckos? Quietly. We can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Never in my life did I ever think I was going to be told that one day I would be sneaking up on geckos with a rifle in my hands. That just, it didn't play out in my mind at all. But um, we're going to go ahead and crouch okay, here. This mechanic on. enables you we'll to sneak by. Um, my character isn't really built to be stealthy. Um, it's not really the character build I was going for, but you saw that option regardless. And uh, I believe you do more damage if you get a sneak attack in on an enemy. May be wrong on that, but that's how it worked in Elder Scrolls. I'm assuming it works the same way here. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and dispense with these little critters, and boom! Headshot, buddy. Or neck shot, as it were. Alright, so I think that takes care of the gecko problem. Is that all you got for me, Sonny? Uh, Sonny, want to come over here? See? You're getting the hang of it. Are you There's scared of geckos, Sonny? Did you bring me along you because you didn't want to have to fight them yourself? Worth a few caps to me. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Okay, so I guess there's uh, more geckos around, and um, for doing this tutorial, it's worth doing just because you get some little items and such, but um, I guess if it were your second playthrough through the game and you're kind of trying to get through things quickly, you can choose to skip the tutorial. 
But um, for the sake of the video series, I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Uh, normally, I do it just because uh, you get some experience from killing enemies early on. Anyway, uh, okay, it's going to show us how to do VATS. Um, VATS is sort of the uh, slow down, quick aim system in the game, which uh, enables you to freeze enemies in place and pick the body part you want to target, which is very, very helpful. It's sort of the uh, trademark of the Fallout series. And so, uh, when you slow down time and aim at the enemies, you can target a specific body part, like the head, if you want to do extra damage. Um, if the enemy is carrying a particularly powerful gun, like a rocket launcher or something like that, you may want to disarm them, and so you can shoot them in the hands or the arms. Uh, so it's a pretty cool, unique system. And uh, depending where you place your stats early on in the game, you uh, set yourself up to be able to get off more shots while in VATS mode. Um, you can't just use VATS as much as you want, it's kind of on a cooldown timer, so after you use it a couple of times, you need to wait before you can use it again. And, uh, that's pretty much all you need to know about that. Anyway, oh, whoa! That girl's under attack, we should save her. Maybe there'll be something in it for us, too. They gotta always think about the profit here. Okay, so dropped one of these suckers. Okay, let's go ahead and get this guy. Uh, let's pop him in the torso. It's usually easier to hit the torso than it is to hit the head. Although, I think I missed there. Okay, one more down, one more to go. And whoa! Oh my god, that chick just decapitated the damn thing. I don't know if you guys saw that, but she just took a meat cleaver to that thing's face. Holy damn. Moly. If you hadn't come here like you'd done, I'd be a goner for sure. I don't I know about that. You seem to handle yourself pretty here. damn well, chick. You should have what I got. You look thirsty. Well, thanks. Cool. It's got some purified water. Um, yeah, that's something in this game. Uh, there's gonna be purified water and there's gonna be dirty water. Haven't really gotten to rads yet, but basically because this is a nuclear fallout zone, um, a lot of the things in the area are irradiated to different degrees, and if you catch now too much irradiation, it causes Even problems for your character up until eventually killing a him. spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Okay. I thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Eh, normally I'd pass on this, but for the right, sake then. of the Let's Play, I'll go ahead and we'll do it. ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard. Brock flowers? Like, Brock from Pokemon? Root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Okay, sounds good. So we're gonna head out to the schoolhouse. Damn, I hate to watch that girl go, but I love watching her leave. Ow. Um, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and fast forward because the schoolhouse is a little bit back away. It's actually back by the town of Good Springs. So I'm gonna trek on over that way, and when I get there, I will cut the video back in. So see you guys in just a second. Okay, guys, we're back here, and we're coming up on the schoolhouse right about now. So let's go ahead and see if we can find us some Brock flower or Xander root. I forget which is here. And, um, oh god, giant praying mantis. That is disgusting. But one shot, one kill. Not anything too bad. Oh, are you sad that I killed your buddy? Oh, you'll be joining him shortly. Don't you worry. Boom! Headshot, motherfucker. Alright. So yeah, as you can probably imagine, there's more of these nasty little guys inside the schoolhouse. I may go exploring in there later. Ooh, mantis egg. Uh, anyway, um, I may go exploring inside the schoolhouse later. But um, for now, I'm just here to collect the uh, the items that we need for uh, for Sunny. If I could find the thing, um, where is it now? Uh, oh, that's it. Okay, we got some Xander root. Awesome. Let's go ahead and grab all three since it's there anyway. And um, the next thing we need is some rock flower, and I guess that's up by the graveyard. So I'll go ahead and run up there. It's just right outside of town. And uh, once I get there, I will cut the video back in. So see you guys again in another second. So yeah, guys, the graveyard is up here on top of this hill here with the water tower and all that good stuff. And uh, you're going to see some bloat flies flying around. These are nasty little fuckers. I don't know why it is that irradiation just uh, makes insects a lot bigger. Like, why is that a thing? that radiation just makes things grow to immense proportions. Um, but we can pick these guys off from afar because we've got a pretty nice hunting rifle here on our hands. So let's go ahead and reload. Before I grab the uh, rock flower, I'm just going to go ahead and snipe these guys off. 
And I absolutely love in this game the uh, little slow-mo kill cam thing that happens when you finally drop an enemy. It's really satisfying. Uh, one more shot. Should be able to take this last bloat fly down. So I pop him in with a no-scope. Yeah, baby. Some Call of duty -age right in there. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and scope out the area and see what we can find. Um, ooh, I think this is the grave that they were trying to bury me in. Yikes, that is a little too close for comfort. That's kind of creeping me out. But uh, here is the Brock flower we need. And a um, little fun fact, you can actually dig up these graves if you have a shovel. I'll go ahead and show that. Oh, we don't have a shovel. Um, well, mental note to myself, come back here at some point with a shovel and remind me to show you guys that. But, um, yeah, you can do some grave robbing. It's pretty cool. There's a bunch of graves around here and elsewhere in the game. But anyway, now that we have the Brock Flower and the Xander Root, and we've gotten a nice little chunk of XP from killing bloat flies and giant praying mantises, I'm going to run back down to Sunny and see what we can cook up. So I'll see you guys down at Sunny's place in just a second. Alrighty, already back here at Sunny's camp, and we got a little campfire going here, it looks like. So what are we Let making? Me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Oh, you'll just do just fine. fine too, baby. All right now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Okay, let's go ahead and try this thing. Uh, activate campfire, and you can see some menus up on the screen. Um, I believe that improving your survivalist skill is what enables you to make more of these, but it's not something I'm going to really focus on because I don't find it to be that important. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and make some healing powder. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Yep, yep, sounds well, about right. I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me All right, favor. sounds good, so we're going to be heading on back She's yonder. She's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Well, then I'll go ahead and do that. I'll go say hi to Trudy, too. And, oh my god, dadass! Oh, my safety is most definitely off, baby. You did not hear that, Cheyenne. Just pretend I didn't say anything to your owner. Anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and make our way back to the saloon, talk to Trudy, like uh, Sunny told us to. And uh, I'll go ahead and meet you guys back up there, so I'll cut the video back in in a second. You know, I really wonder how they keep that saloon sign going, because I imagine the entire town got hit by the nuclear fallout and there's no more electricity. So, how do they have a giant neon sign going off? Anyway, let's go ahead and stow our gun. Done being nice. Ooh, what's going on here? Don't hand Ringo over soon. I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? Uh, that's not good. Mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. It'd be kind of funny if he turned right around after that and bought some alcohol from her. It's like, yep, I'm gonna burn your town to the ground. Now sell me some booze. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Well, thanks for the welcome. Uh, I overheard your argument. What's that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. I've heard, heard that he story before. Shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Well, yikes. Uh, what do you plan to do about it? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Yeah, I guess I'd be hoping for that too, but uh, what Chain are powder gangs, gangers? The really. NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. Yeah. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Well, that's lovely. So, ex-prisoners with dynamite. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Okay, so why can't we just kill Cobb and be done with you it? Mean murder him? That's not our way. Even if Cobb is scum, he can bluster and threaten all he wants. But the man has dynamite. What the hell are you going to do about it? Oh, well, whatever. All right. Um, what happens if I help Ringo out? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. 
course, well, that sounds Ringo good. Would also make the powder gangers mad, and they've got a lot of friends out there. Yeah, I guess that's something to think about. So I help Ringo, and Good Springs will like me more. But what if I help the powder know why gangers? Don't you do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Yeah, you know, I don't really need to be pissing off anybody this early on. I mean, geez, I have to choose between two factions. That kind of sucks. But, uh, I think that's all I need to ask her about right now. We got plenty of other dialogue options, but, uh, let's go ahead and get back into something a little more exciting. Um, hmm. Let's see if we can go help out Ringo, I guess. I'm trying to decide whether I want to help out Ringo or whether I want to help out Cobb. Um... You know, Cobb is my favorite type of salad, but I think I'm going to have to pass on this because Ringo was my favorite movie. It's actually a lie, it wasn't. But, uh, I'm going to go with Ringo. That's the short end of it. And so, I don't know if you guys caught that during the dialogue, but they are hiding him up here in the old, uh, looks like a gas station, I guess, or something along those lines. And, uh, ooh, first thing, let's go ahead and see if there's anything in here. Some sarsaparilla, maybe? I will gladly take that. So, let's see what Ringo's up to. That's close enough. Whoa, buddy, what's Who with the gun? And what do you want with me? Uh, I'm not an enemy, if that's what you're thinking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We yeah, well, chill the fuck out, homie. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of Caravan. Oh, you know no, we are not playing Caravan. I know all about that game, and I have no interest in playing it. Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Yeah, I guess that's true. But, uh, why are they out to get you, and what are you going to do about them? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Maybe I can help out. I'm an... Ooh, I like that better. You need a hired gun, I'm available. That's much more mercenary-like. You get me out of this, and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. Okay, sounds good. You'll have to do what now? We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Okay, I follow you. Uh, I guess I'll ask around and see who else I can round Start up for the mission. Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So, um, there's a couple of people we need to ask for help. I guess Sunny's gonna be the first one. But before I do that, let's just go ahead and raid this place for, uh, for whatever it's got. I think there's a safe, yep, right here, and we can do some lockpicking. Uh, this is the first time I'm showing off the lockpicking minigame. So, uh, basically, with lockpicking, you have to, uh, do this little minigame where you torque the screwdriver and use a bobby pin to find the, uh, sweet spot in the locking mechanism. And when you do that, you can pillage it for everything it has. So, uh, let's see... Oh, that is red, so we shouldn't take that. Got some bottle caps in here. Uh, I promise I'll be quick, guys, just grabbing what I can find. Some whiskey would be good. Uh, alcohol is usually a pretty high-value item, so even if you don't plan to use it yourself, you can always sell it off to a vendor. And, uh... Yeah, that looks pretty good. Ooh, a doctor's bag. I'm glad I noticed that was there. But uh, I think that's all we need right now. I'm sure I probably missed something, but that is okay. Don't want to spend too much time looting. Anyway, let's go ahead back down to the saloon and talk to Sunny. And basically, we're going to have an opportunity to recruit everybody around town. Each of them, you'll have to use a different way of persuading them to get them to join up with you. But um, the more people that help out, the better. The better your odds are against Joe Cobb and his gang. So let's go ahead and talk to Sunny and get her in on the action. And hey there, Easy Pete. How you doing, buddy? Keeping that beard nice and smooth? Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Yeah, I'm gonna help Ringo take on the Powder Gangers, so I Say need no your more. help. I'm in. Oh man, I love this. We might die horribly. Well, maybe not me. <laughs> That's inspiring. You may want to keep your optimism to yourself if you try to recruit anyone else. Yeah, Joe fair Cobb point. Talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. Well, I don't know about a you and Ringo, but I'm a one-man army. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. 
All right, that's a lot of stuff to do, but uh, let's go ahead and get started on that. Um, I think we'll go ahead and ask Trudy first, and she's right here in the bar, and she's pretty easy to convince. Um, let's go ahead and talk to her and see what she has. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Damn straight, you want to help out? You should help me take down the Powder Gang, bullets, explosions, lots of fun. I was planning on sitting this one out. So yeah, you guys noticed that reason, uh, there was a little thing that said like speech 25 next to it. That Let means in order for that speech folks, option to I'll be possible, you need at least 25 points in that stat. Well, so that we're only able to do that because I've been bumping up my speech equipped. stat to be pretty high. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Alright, uh, sounds good to me. There's one other thing I want to do with her... Um, let's track down the people who attacked me. Know anything about them? Other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. Wow, what an it asshole. Working since. Okay, uh, did they say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Yeah, that place is pretty nasty, but uh, why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants yeah. avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. Oh, it is. Uh, so where are they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Damn, she really knows what she's talking about. But uh, how about if I take a look at your broken radio, because that's sure. what I really want to do. Yeah, looks okay, but... I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. That he does. That he does. Okay, goodbye. Be careful out there. So, what I just wanted to do was just open up... Ooh. Oh, he leveled up. I didn't even notice that. Cool. Um, let's see. Where am I going to put my points in? So, I got 15 skill points to spend. Let's go ahead and put some more into speech. I'd like that to be at 45. Let's put some into lock picking. Just bring that to 35, put some in the guns, and I'll just dump the rest into repair. Alright, that sounds good. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and finalize that, and we get to pick a new perk. I think that of these, uh, I think I want to go for a uh, lady killer. It'll open up some interesting dialogue options. Um, you have your choice between lady killer and confirm bachelor. Confirm bachelor... Opens up dialogue choices with men. Lady Killer works with women. So I'm going to go ahead and go with that and lock in my decision. Cool, we already leveled up once. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at her radio. And we do have a repair of 20 or greater, so we can repair it. And so now we can collect some caps for that. Thirsty? I can take care of that. Uh, I went ahead and fixed your radio for you, in case you yeah, can't hear it. turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. And, uh, ooh, that's it? Are you implying I've done shoddy work? So since I can barter, I can actually get more caps out of her. Normally charged for this sort of thing. Here's some additional caps. That should be enough. Yeah, that'll now, do. How about spending some of those caps in the saloon? Yeah, how about no? I'm be not a drunkard. Anyway, that's pretty nifty. I didn't realize that you could, uh, uh, hold her up for a little bit more there. But, uh, now that we've got her recruited, let's go ahead and talk to Easy Pete, see if we can get his dynamite. Uh, I've heard you got dynamite. It would help us beat the powder gangers. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Uh, explosives. Ooh, okay. You see when I highlight this option, it's red. That means I won't be able to do yep. it successfully. So there's no yep. point in talking to Easy Pete because my explosive skill is not high enough. Now, um, if I wanted to, I could probably find a book about explosives and read it and get a temporary stat boost. But, um, I don't happen to have one of those on me, so I'm not going to bother going around to look for one. one Doc Mitchell was patching up. Way I heard it, anyway, I this is Chet, guys. He runs the general office. store. Going to go ahead and see if I've we can convince him to contribute some uh, extra you ammo to the cause. And special ammo. Well worth the caps, if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Just like all my ex-wives. Bazinga! All right, I need now supplies to fight the Powder Gangers. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Let me... Oh, let them take over the town then. I'm sure your business will be much better you off. made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. All right, cool. And, so we got uh, Shedden on it too. While all this is going on. 
I have to put my business first. You understand. Yeah, yeah, it's all cool. Um, anyway, that's all I need from you right now, Take Chet. I will now. be back to look at your guns later on. Anyway, we got one more guy to talk to, and that would be Doc Mitchell back up on the hill, the guy who helped us out get better early on in the game. And uh, I don't think you actually need to do any convincing with him. I'm pretty sure he just hands over whatever you need. Pretty nice guy that way. Kind of feel like an asshole for stealing all of his stuff, but, you know, what can you do? It's a tough world out there. Uh, Doc Mitchell, want to talk to me, buddy? Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Well, for starters, uh... Kinda need some medical supplies. The town's gonna to be Seems attacked by like bandits. Wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. That a boy, Doc. And uh that's all I need from you, good you sir. Take care now. Alright, so three for four is not bad. We got Trudy, uh Chet, and Doc Mitchell in on the cause. Unfortunately, easy, Pete. I think my explosive skill is just a little bit too low, and so that's going to have to, uh... We're not going to be picking him up, unfortunately. We won't be getting any explosives from him, but that is A-OK. -okay. We don't need all four of them to join with us. Three is plenty, and it's all optional anyway. So, so Ringo, let's do on? this bad boy. Sonny agree to help us? Sonny's with us. We're all good to well, go. I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. No, I've done pretty much all I can, so let's do this bad boy. All right, I'm ready. I hope. You better be, Ringo. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. All right, sounds good. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. All right, well, I'll let's go. The store. We're just burning daylight here. Ain't getting any younger. That far. All right, so guys... Get your guns out, it's time to rock this thing. So, uh, for this impending fight, there's gonna be, I guess, six powder gangers, and you're gonna have the aid of all the people you recruited, as well as some random people from, uh, was it from Good Springs? And so, it's basically gonna be a little civil war going on here. Well, I don't know about a civil war, because it's not like the town is imploding, but, uh, got our rifle out here, and ready to stare these guys down. Let's go ahead and see if we can get the first shot off on them, and ooh, I've been hit. Uh, oh wow. Uh, wow, I cannot hit any of these guys from this distance. That kind of sucks. I must need a better weapon or something. Wow, why is my accuracy so low? Uh, hide behind the tumbleweed. I guess we have to get closer, but oh my god, these guys are tearing apart my health. This is really not good. Okay, that's a little better, I guess, but it doesn't look like I'm going to do much damage to these guys. They must be armored pretty damn well. And, oh my god. Oh my god, there's a guy right next to me. Get away, get away, get away. Oh my god, get away. Get. Oh my god, he's whacking me with a bat. You, sir, are dead. As well as you, just momentarily. Give me some time to get a headshot off on him. Oh god, I don't have any bats points left. Oh shit. Okay, this is not going well. Let's retreat and regroup for just a second here. I might want to use a stim pack just to regain some health. Joe Cobb, I see you. Why can I not hit anything? Oh my god. Oh my lord Jesus, I cannot hit anything. I'm the worst gunman in the world. Uh, I wonder if my bats is recharged yet. Maybe I should go ahead and go back into that. Yeah, okay. Um, whoa, 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 wait, wait a second. Oh my god, that guy's really close. Um. Oh, oh wait, shit, that's a good spring settler. I am so sorry, buddy. I am so sorry, that was an accident. Um. Oh, somebody already killed Joe Cobb. There's only one guy left, I think. I want to get the last kill. Let me have it, let me, let me. Okay, Vats, headshot this mofo. Ooh, man, those guys gave me a lot of trouble. Jeez. Well, all right. And, uh, yep, now we're vilified with the Powder Gangers. That means they're going to attack us on sight and they pretty much hate us. But we are idolized in Good Springs, so we get that discount that Trudy was telling us about and a whole lot of other goodies. And, um, now we get to reap the rewards of our huge battle here. And, uh, oh my god, Ringo died. Well, I guess I'll take his stuff. I didn't realize he died in that. Jesus. Um... I'm sorry, Ringo. I wish we could have done more to help you out. I'm surprised we still passed the mission. You need to be careful. It's dangerous out here. 
Well, 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 Victor, at last we meet. Uh, how did you know that I was in trouble? I mean, besides yeah, all the gunfire. I can smell trouble a mile away. You can probably hear it, too. Or maybe he's just smelling the gunpowder. See that you do. Is he threatening me by chance? Uh, well, of course not. We just wouldn't want anything to happen to you, is all. Uh-huh, likely story. But we? Who is we? <laughs> I like you, friend. Have I mentioned that? I don't like this. Are you following me? I saved your life, so I kind of feel responsible for you, is all. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, uh... I can take care of myself, Victor. That's that's lovely and all. Sure you can, friend. But everyone needs a hand from time to time. Maybe you return the favor one day. I do not like the way the robot's talking to me. Are you saying I owe you? I wouldn't put it exactly like that, friend. Okay, goodbye, Victor. Till our trails cross again, Parker. Well, that was creepy as all hell, but yeah, that is the robot that supposedly saved us. And oh my god, Trudy, you died too! Wow, okay, I did not realize that so many of the townsfolk could actually Howdy. die in that gunfight. I assume they had some sort of immunity to the powder gangers, but I guess not. Oh, Sonny, you're still alive, that's good. Um, I'm just gonna run around and grab all the loot that I can, because believe me, there is plenty. There are shotguns abound. And, um, ooh, Joe Cobb, let's see what he had. Ooh, a Magnum, that's gonna be fun. And a Stealth Boy, that's going to be good too. Uh, stealth Boy basically turns you invisible for a short period of time, so that's a very useful item. Um, especially if you are having to do something stealthily but don't have a very good character with sneaking stats. Um, let's go ahead and see what this guy had on him, some bottle caps. Um, well, I think that's most of it. Oh, Sunny, Tumbleweed! Um, oh, poor Cheyenne. She's probably scared. Um, well, I think that's most of the bodies. That's all the good stuff anyway. But, um, yeah, what a fight, and now half the town is dead. My bad. Anyway, guys, thanks for checking out this episode. In the next one, we will begin to explore outside the town of Good Springs. I think our next stop is probably going to be the city of Prim, so that'll be where we're off to next. But anyway, guys, my name is Jesus Quesadilla. Thank you guys for joining me, and uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe. That way you can stay updated when new videos are posted to my channel. But until next time, this is Jesus Quesadilla signing out and wishing you well. Peace!